people believed to be connected to a murder in a Maple Grove Park last month are now in police custody. Officers from the Big Lake Police Department arrested 20-year-old Adric Hare and 18-year-old Ariana Sylvester Tuesday night following a traffic stop. The two were taken into custody without incident and are now at the Hennepin County Jail. They were both wanted in connection to last week's homicide at Lakeview Knowles Park. The person killed was 26-year-old Dayton Rossetti Carter of Minneapolis. The Hennepin County Medical Examiner says he died from multiple gunshot wounds. Police say the motive for the shooting appears to be drug related. Maple Grove police say the case is an ongoing investigation and if you have any additional information to please call the Maple Grove Police Department. If you've been out fishing at Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park, you know that change is underway. Finishing touches are going on the first phase of a revamp at Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park. The parking lot is expected to be finished this next week. There will be better lighting and better water filtration systems to keep runoff from going right to the Mississippi River. Speaking of the Mississippi, people are going to have better access to the river. There's going to be some nice trails down to the water and to the, to the dam itself. Bike users are really going to notice a difference. They are going to be off of the driveway, which is what it used to be like. Uh, they'll have their own access into the park on the regional trail. Brooklyn Park and the Three Rivers Park District are partnering together on this long-term project to revitalize two parks near the dam. Thousands of Osseo Middle School students can expect to get new Chromebooks to use for the upcoming school year. The district started trading iPads to Chromebooks last year in the high school level. We found that a Chromebook was best suited to kind of meet those needs. Uh, in particular, when we're talking about uh, keyboarding skills or integrating with some of the tools that we have like Schoology and Google Apps for Education. The technology team unboxed 5,800 devices this summer and made sure the software was up to date. This is a time-lapse video showing that process, which took five days. Um, I'm very excited for where things are going in our district, um, in particular with our new um, revised digital learning plan with a new focus and emphasis on um, instruction and learning um, and how to use technology as a resource. Teachers will be training on the new device throughout this month. By the way, school starts on September 3rd. Well, veterinarians or anyone who works with animals had to get their start somewhere. In this week's edition of What I Learned at Summer Camp, I learned what the Animal Humane Society is doing to help children foster a love of animals. Every year, the Animal Humane Society provides care for more than 23,000 animals. It takes a team of compassionate people to help these pets, and one day, Cassidy Gonzalez McLaughlin hopes to be one of those people. Well, because I love animals and um, like this is just a really good opportunity to like interact with animals. Cassidy is one of hundreds of kids who signed up this year for the Animal Humane Society's summer camp. It's a starting point for children who may want to pursue a career in veterinary medicine or animal welfare. The big goal that we have for the kids here at camp is to teach them compassion and empathy towards animals, towards their community, and towards themselves. Oh my God. One way to help kids develop that compassion is by showing them what dogs are capable of. So, can you get it? Get it. During today's session, representatives from the organization Helping Paws we're on hand to showcase how their trained dogs can assist people with disabilities. For me personally, I think it's just good exposure um, for the for the kids to learn about what what one of or a few of the many things dogs do in this world for people. Showcasing dogs' unique abilities is just one of the many things the kids learn during this week-long camp. But Humane Society officials hope they learn other life lessons as they interact with the animals. You need compassion and empathy to interact in every aspect of your life. It teaches you to have more care and love for yourself along with your parents, your siblings, your classmates, well into adulthood. Speaking of adulthood, Cassidy is only nine years old. But after a week of working with pets, she has a pretty good idea of her future career. I want to be a veterinarian because animals have forever been my dream, and I've always loved animals. From my waist down. The Animal Humane Society's summer camp runs through August 16th. Currently, all of the classes are full, but there is an online wait list. 
The weather cooperated Tuesday night, which meant a high turnout for national night out parties across the metro. Maple Grove said they had 207 parties Tuesday night. The city began festivities with a lunchtime cookout at the community center. There were displays from police and fire and other first responders. Brooklyn Park had more than 200 parties as well, from the Huntington Place Apartments to the Isaac Walton League on the banks of the Mississippi. The diversity of our city gets broken down when you start serving food. Food is one unifier, and so when people are eating, they talk to other people, and we know that's a great thing. The potluck is always fantastic. Uh, the, some of the Isaac Walton League members have also offered um, to provide root beer, root beer floats. Just a few more sights and sounds from the evening. Welcome back. Many local families are thinking back to school. For athletes in fall sports, official practices get going on Monday. At all of the high schools in the area, including Osseo, athletes must be officially registered through their athletic offices before they are allowed to participate in practice sessions. Most of the work can be done online now, but as Osseo Activities Director Bill Kwan says, there are still some things to keep in mind when it comes to fall sign up. There's a few things that trip people up and the first one is that fall sports actually start before school starts. So this year like August 12th is three weeks before school. So we do have a lot of kids come in that first day of school looking to sign up for sports and we're three weeks in and uh, sports have already had games. Uh, the other thing that trips them up is making sure we have that updated sports physical. Um, a lot of families going for that well child check, just a regular checkup, which is not necessarily a sports physical. The big thing is when they go in and register, there's a red flag, they can't register, it's either their physical is not up to date, uh, their son or daughter forgot to turn in a chemistry book for example, so there's a fine or fee on there, so they're trying to scramble and figure that out so they can participate on that first day of practice. So uh, definitely questions coming in all day long. A little bit low. Families in District 279 can sign up for sports online through the district's fee pay portal, which is also used for other school related fees. Well, as we showed you yesterday, an impressive group of professional and college hockey players are skating in the Beauty League again this July and August. And as Jay Wilcox reports, two players from the Northwest suburbs are part of the fun. The Beauty League is a big hit with fans, and it turns out the players really like it too. Former Hopkins and Gopher star Travis Boyd, now with the NHL's Washington Capitals, and Christian Horn, a Plymouth native and former Benilde standout who is in the East Coast Hockey League, are having a blast. To be honest with you, it's a lot of fun. It's one of the things I kind of look forward to during the week. Uh, you know, with training, skating, doing all the skill stuff, it's kind of hard to find a, a place where you can play some games in the summertime where it's up-tempo, guys are skating, they want to win, you know, they're, they're where they are because they're competitive. It's kind of amazing that it took so long to get something like this going. Uh, when you look around the, uh, you know, the Twin Cities areas and just see uh, every summer how many pro hockey guys are just living here or, or are from here and to go out here and they're good skates, they're high quality. And Horn, who just turned 26, has played four seasons of minor league hockey after playing at St. Lawrence. Boyd, who is three months younger than Horn, has established himself with the Capitals and already achieved a big milestone been up in the NHL the last like, year and a half and obviously uh, I got to be a part of the Stanley Cup run and, and uh, I got to be on the ice and hoist the cup up above my head and I mean that's any kid's dream and uh, for me to be able to live that uh, you know I, I really do feel like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm living my childhood dream every single day. Well you know things have been going good I'm excited you know heading back to Norfolk, uh, Norfolk Virginia 
play for the Admirals there and uh, see if I can get a call up for a two, call up or two there. Just still trying to put the puck in the back of the net. You know, things get a little tougher the, the higher levels you go, but still a lot of fun. It's been an absolute blast, and uh, you know, I still hope to be playing for quite a few years. The Beauty League is fun and a good workout, but it serves a couple of other purposes for Horn and Boyd too. You know, for a guy like me who's trying to work his way up in the pro hockey world when you're playing up playing against NHLers and doing all that stuff, it you know it sets the bar, it gives you a measurement, kind of a measurement tool to see how you're doing. And um, I played in Hopkins growing up, and I had a group of about 10 or 20 uh, Hopkins kids came out here tonight, and I, I saw them as I was walking in and got to introduce myself to them and. You know, everyone that's skating in this league was a kid just like them at one point too. So um, I think it's cool for kids to see, um, you know, pro hockey players. And the preparation for another season starts soon for Boyd and Horn. Skating in the Beauty League is a great send-off. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. And there are games Wednesday this week and then next Monday and Wednesday at Braemar Arena in Edina. The playoffs are August 19th and 21st. That'll do it for sports.